Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Nomadic Therapy. My name is Vanessa. How are you guys doing today? I have another YouTube channel called Vanessa's Fan Life Journey. If you're not subscribed to that channel, make sure you subscribe to that channel and this one as well. I am here today to do an encouraging motivational video and I want to talk to you guys about why. Let me let me make sure my hat is even because I just got through filming another video. It looked like it was crooked. But let me talk to you guys today about why you should ignore Satan. Girl, this is a good topic because state, the Bible says that Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Another thing, you guys, if you do not know that Satan is the father of lies and he is a master deceiver. Satan has all the time in the world and he has no new tricks. Satan studies you. He watches you. He learns what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are. Satan is always going to attack you using your weaknesses. That's why if you got a problem with your flesh, girl, and you lust, girl, the devil already know what kind of men you like, what kind of women you like. He already know what you like, what's your type. He gonna send that fine chocolate brother your way with biceps and triceps, clean cut, dreadlocks, whatever you like. Girl, you can have it your way. <laughs> is, it a, is it Burger King or McDonald's where you can have it your way, y'all? Girl, when it comes to the devil, you can have it your way. However you like it, Baby, that's what he is sending your way. So I am here to school you on how to resist the devil, how to ignore the devil, how not to pay the devil. No, never mind, girl, because the devil don't have nothing but time on his hands to sit up and watch you, girl. That is his only job is to watch you, to try to figure out what's your downfall. To try to figure out what you like so he could tempt you in that area. To try to figure out what he could do to annoy you, to agitate you, to aggravate you, to trigger you. Girl, everything that is your pet peeve, the devil is going to throw that, the kitchen sink, and more at you. If chocolate is your weakness, girl, he about to send a, a, a double-decker, triple-stacker chocolate, <laughs> chocolate chip chocolate fudge sunday cake your way with extra chocolate on the side whatever your weakness is whatever agitates you some of y'all be getting married to these men and these women and y'all be like oh they the best thing to happen since sliced bread this my soulmate and next thing you know Y'all fighting, y'all fussing, y'all arguing. You can't stand that person. That person ain't none of what you wanted or thought that you needed because the devil watched you. He watched you. He got you to sin outside of the will of God. He got you to walk outside of the will of God to get the man that he sent your way or the woman that he sent your way to aggravate you, to agitate you, to get on your last nerve and to be none of what you needed them to be, girl. Because the devil watching you. So sometimes you be wondering, like, why you keep meeting the same kind of people all over again? Why even when you get into a new relationship, same kind of person? Same attitude, same personality, same qualities, because the devil is sending the same thing your way in a different body because that's what he knows you like. And that's what he know you need to get you to sin, to get you to curse, to get you to act a fool, to get you to... Girl, he trying to tempt you to anger. He trying to kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> child y'all better ignore satan y'all better the bible say resist the devil and he will flee 
Resist the devil and he will flee. Girl, I know it's people be trying to agitate me, aggravate me. They come to my channel. They leave comments. Girl, I delete them comments. I block them people. I'm not letting them people have a field day in my comments. I don't care who talk about me, what they got to say about me. I'm not watching you. I don't care. I'm not listening. Girl, God got me on my grind. God got me spending my time on my grind to elevate my life, to take my life to the next level. I don't have time to listen to the devil, to care about the devil. The devil is the father of lies. There is a pit of hell waiting on him. God or has ordained it and it is so. Let the devil run his mouth. Let the devil talk. Let the devil attack you. Let the devil think he know you. He may know you, but he don't know the God in you. Obviously not. The devil may know you because he studied you. But the devil don't know the God in you because he got kicked up out of heaven, baby. He don't know God. He, he, he's still trying God. And obviously he don't know God. He ain't tired. The devil played in the face of God. Who are you? Who are you? You is nothing and you are nobody, girl. The devil saying tricks is for kids. The devil going to play tricks on you all day, every day. If he could play a mind game on you, if he could agitate you, if he could... Uh, trigger you if he could trip you up if he could get you to fall if he could get you to take your eyes up off the prize girl that is his job I always say the devil is about his business girl the devil only got one job and he good at it he comes to steal kill and destroy and deceive Anybody he can. And if you take your eyes off of God, if you take your eyes off the prize, if you take your eyes off of where your health and your strength comes from, you have done what Satan wanted you to do. You to look to the right. You to look to the left. God don't want you to look to the right or to the left. He wants you to keep looking forward. We are all guilty. We have all taken our eyes off the prize. We have all gotten distracted. We have all fell astray. We have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But now it's time to realize the tricks of Satan. Now it's time to recognize the tricks of Satan. He has studied you. Have you studied him? Have you studied all the people that he have brought in your paths with the same personalities, all to try to accomplish the same thing in your life, and that's to destroy you? Have you studied how he always tries to tempt you. How he always brings people around you. That will be a distraction to you. A hindrance to you. And that will be the downfall of you. Have you noticed it? Have you recognized it? How you know, have you noticed that the same people with, the, with a, the same people with the same personality, just a different face, attack you over and over again, talk about you, dislike you for no reason. You ain't done nothing to them. They all got the same M.O. You ain't recognize that girl. Girl, don't give the devil, the uh, he he over here. The devil just waving, trying to get your attention, messing with you, talking about you, attacking you, trying to drag you down in the hole where he at. If you just listen to Satan, you can hear how miserable and evil and wicked he is. Not one good thing comes from him he tells the truth about nothing and he wants to drag you down to the hell hole that god created for him god didn't create that hell hole for you but if he could get you to take your eyes off of god like he got one third of heaven
heaven, to, one third of the angels to take their eyes off of God. If he could get you to take your eyes off of God, he can get you to have the same destiny that was intended for him. When God kicked him out of heaven, guess who he kicked out with him? The one third of the angel that he deceived. So the same fate uh, the same fate awaits you if you take your eyes off of God and you put your eyes on Satan, you are going to have the same faith as Satan. You are going you are going to be led astray and deceived by Satan like the angels were. You're going to miss out on the prize and the blessings of God like the angels did. Do not take your eyes off of God. Keep your eyes on the prize. Satan is fighting hard to get your attention, to knock you off your game and to get you distracted and to get you to sin and to get you to be where he is with him. He wants you to be with him. He wants a lot of souls to be with him. He's already have deceived many. But it is, it is his job and his pleasure to steal from God as many as he can steal from God because he know the glory of God that awaits you. He has behold the glory of God. He knows what awaits you. And this is why it is time for us to study Satan, to know what he's capable of, to know how he attacks us, to know that he's trying to get up under our skin, to know that he's trying to agitate us, to know that he's trying to aggravate us. It's time for us to know his M.O., resist his M.O., and rebuke him in the mighty name of Jesus. The devil don't have no new tricks. He been trying the same tricks on you over and over and over again because they have worked. He don't have to try nothing new. They have worked. And it's up to you if you let the tricks that Satan try on you work. Don't self-sabotage your own life, your own joy, your own peace, your own happiness, your own happiness and your own future with God by listening to Satan, by being distracted by Satan, by giving ear to Satan, by giving away to Satan. The devil has no new tricks. And this is why you should ignore him. This is why you shouldn't allow him to have power over you. This is why you shouldn't get frustrated with the things that Satan does to you. He have no new tricks, girl. He tried these tricks on you last year. If you resist him this year, he going to flee. He'll be back. But he going to flee. And when he come back, girl, guess what? He coming back with the same tricks. You ought to recognize him. You ought to see him. Don't be deceived. Don't be led astray. Don't be tempted to anger. The Bible say be angry and sin not. Don't be tempted to anger. Don't listen what the don't listen to the things the devil have to say about you. He ain't got nothing good to say about nobody. The devil can't even say nothing good about himself. Why? Because he is Satan. He can't say nothing good about God. He can't say nothing good about Jesus who was perfect. The devil don't tell the truth. Like they say, tell the truth and shame the devil. Tell the truth and shame the devil, but the devil can't tell the truth. The devil is the father of lies. There is nothing good in him. But he has no power over you. The devil needs your permission he needs your permission by default to destroy you. We give the devil rule over us when we are disobedient to God, when we walk away from God, when we don't trust God, 
when we don't have faith the size of a mustard seed, when we believe the lies of Satan, when we even give ear to the things that he have to say about us, we are taking our eyes off of God. Do not even take your eyes off of God to hear what Satan has to say about you. Let's pray. Father God, as we come to you right now, for God, Father God, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your light. We thank you for your words of encouragement. We thank you for your truth, your strength, your power, your wisdom. We thank you, Father God, for protecting us against all hurt, harm, and danger that no weapon will form against us will prosper, Father God. Everything that the enemy plots and plans against us, Father God, let it return to his household, his doorstep, and his life. Father God, we ask you to close every lie lying tongue, every lying mouth, Father God. We ask you to deal with the enemy, prop, uh, precious Heavenly Father. And Father God, we ask you, precious Heavenly Father, to give us the strength and the wisdom and the power to resist Satan so he will flee. Let us stand up on your word, Father God, night and day. Show us your word, Father God. Make your word plain to us, Father God. And equip us with the things that we need to know in order to resist Satan. This prayer I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments bar below if this was encouraging to you. Let me know if it spoke to you. Let me know how did it speak to you. Let me know how did it bless you. And resist the devil and he will flee. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.